YouTubers, it's your old buddy Platt, and today I'm going to show you how to make brown sugar moonshine. So let's go. First off, before we get started, I want to kind of apologize. It's been a while since I've done a video where I've made some. I've just pretty much been doing uh, beer style videos lately and I apologize for that uh, generally in the summertime I don't brew as much or make other stuff it's just so hot out here in Vegas and even with air conditioning I don't keep my house cool enough where I can leave a fermenter out or whatever so I kind of slow down the summertime but football season's uh, quickly here and I got a little inspired the other day so um, I'm ready to make something um, I recently had a dessert with a brown sugar kind of sauce or glaze on it. I, I really like that flavor. It kind of reminded me of one of my more popular videos, my apple pie moonshine video. And if you haven't checked out that video before, check it out, I'll throw a link up top to that. Um, but anyway, what, what I got to thinking was if I took that base and took out the apple pie component and just basically substituted or made it a brown sugar base with all the other spices like cinnamon, nutmeg, or whatever, you know, I got to think, what would that be like? You know, that, that might be something a little, little interesting. So that's kind of the uh, motivation uh, behind this recipe. Uh, want, before we get going, one thing I want to note. Some of y'all watching this might think, well, wait a minute, is he making just a liqueur or is he making a flavored moonshine? And to be honest, there's technically not a lot of difference between the two. Uh, in my videos where I've done like peppermint schnapps, peach schnapps, you know, liqueur, stuff like that. Generally, I'll work with a base of vodka and then add my flavored sugar solution to that, what have you. Or with the apple pie moonshine and any other of the kind of flavored moonshines, we're going to start with a higher ABV spirit, whether it's actual real moonshine, either store-bought or if you uh, know someone in a very legal setting. Uh, to get you some or we'll use like an Everclear or kind of a generic high high proof grain alcohol and so basically we're making something similar to liqueur but it's generally going to be a higher ABV and some of the moonshines out there that you you may try like a cherry moonshine or whatever it may be just a fruit in high proof spirit or whatever. not not quite as high sugar content per se as the liqueurs but uh Whatever it is, today we're going to call this a brown sugar moonshine, but if you want to call it liqueur, feel, feel free. So let's see what we need to make our brown sugar moonshine. All right, here's what we need to make our brown sugar moonshine. First and foremost, obviously, some brown sugar. We're going to take a little uh, clover honey. Uh, if you want to experiment a little bit and uh, if you have some kind of local variety of honey or something that's kind of unique, feel free. Uh, we're going to use some ground cinnamon some whole cloves, some uh, ground nutmeg, and then finally your choice, like I said, if you uh, want to try it with like a real corn whiskey or moonshine or just uh, overproof spirit like a Everclear or uh, this is just a kind of generic uh, grain alcohol, 153 proof, uh, whatever works best for you, we're going to use this grain alcohol today. Well, now that we've seen what we got, Let's get to making some brown sugar moonshine. All right, well, we got all our ingredients together, so now we're going to cook up our brown sugar moonshine. I'm going to start off with a cup and a half of uh, water. We're heating that up right now. Uh, in a mason jar, we're going to make roughly a pint of uh, this brown sugar moonshine. moonshine. Uh, so in a mason jar, you'll want to use a mason jar. It makes it look more authentic. But I put in a cup of our... Uh, grain alcohol in here and then uh, we're going to add our solution to that at the end. Uh, we're starting off with a cup and a half of water. We're going to use a cup and a half of sugar, uh, brown sugar. Um, while this is heating up I'm going to add into my brown sugar just a couple of dashes of ground cinnamon. I'm going to add two whole cloves and then we're going to add a couple of dashes of nutmeg. Now we've got that all in here, and we're going to add to our water. Um, when we, we're going to add the brown sugar to the water, and then we're going to add about an ounce of honey to the water. 
And we're, we're going to just combine all this. Let me put the ounce in real quick. That's, that's about an ounce. Um, we're going to add this all together, and then we're going to bring this up to a simmer. And uh, we're going to reduce this down. Uh, like I said, we've got a cup and a half of water with a cup and a half of sugar. And we're going to reduce that down to a cup. Um, this could take anywhere from uh, 15 to uh, 20 minutes. And what we're going to do with that reduction is really lock in those flavors. Really concentrate everything. And uh, after that, we're going to be sure... Be sure to take out the two cloves, and then after that gets reduced, we're going to let it cool off, and we're going to add it then to our uh, spirit. So let me get everything incorporated here. All right. That all stirred up. Well, it has a nice little smell to it. I, I catch a little whiff of that. But anyway, let me get this reduced. Like, so we're going from about a cup and a half volume down to a cup, so roughly a third. And then once we get this cooled down, we'll add it to our spirit, and uh, we'll come back, kind of review, and then do a taste test. All right, so we finished simmering down our uh, solution. Uh, we let it cool off, and then we added it with our base spirit. Uh, you could tell this comes out pretty dark. Um, like a real dark brown. Um, kind of recap the recipe again. We took a cup and a half of water. We added a cup and a half of brown sugar. We added a couple of uh, dashes of ground cinnamon. A couple of dashes of ground nutmeg. Uh, a couple of cloves and about an ounce of honey. And we let all, you made sure all the sugars and everything were blended in completely. And then we let that solution simmer down or reduce about a third to about a about one cup so let's see how it came out that's that is interesting uh, because we reduced it it's got a little extra viscosity compared to like the apple pie moonshine we did um, definitely get that brown sugar the the cinnamon's kind of predominant. Um, kind of has a almost like a pumpkin pie filling taste, you know, with the spice, with the brown sugar. Um, actually, probably would be nice, something nice to drizzle on top of a like a pumpkin pie with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Drizzle this on top, do kind of a pumpkin pie a la mode kind of with this. Um, as far as proof wise, we added this to 153 proof uh, grain alcohol. So we're going to be between 75 and 80 proof on this. Um, but there's so much spice and enough sugar in this where there's not a huge alcohol sensation. Um, real nice. Um, likes, uh, likes a, a lot of sweetness. This is definitely a very sweet, sugary. Uh, I can see this being a good shooter, um, and like I said, something that could complement a dessert. Uh, maybe something you might would want to try in, in cooking certain desserts or whatever's. It's a nice glaze to put on something, but uh, overall not too bad. Might be something to drink warm. I've talked about that before with the apple pie moonshine, so... Um, well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Any questions, comments, concerns, ideas for future videos, please leave them in the comment section. Or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Well, until next time, bottoms up.